Yeah, hello, my name is Christoph Wichmann. I work at XWay in the API management space. And in this video today, I will show you how you can connect to Azure services using the management solution from XWay and make these services part of your API catalog. The example today, the real life example, will be to integrate into the Microsoft Dynamics CRM web API and make this API just a part of your API management solution and um, to get governance out of it. Before we really get started into the technical details and show you how everything works, I would like to talk about the why. And uh, the why is that more more customers are using cloud services for any kind of purpose and these customers still have backend applications, backend systems. And um, the requirement from these customers is now to synchronize that cloud applications with the backend system they have. And uh, so that means when something changes in the backend, backend side, let's say some data has been changed and that data is related to something which is stored in the cloud, then it should be synchronized. And of course, the other way around, when something is changed in the cloud application, then that data must be synchronized in the backend world as well. Of course, all cloud applications are offering an API, a web API. And um, now you could start integrate every single backend application into that cloud web API and um, do it over and over again. Or you say, and this is what we believe makes sense, is to integrate once into that cloud application and create an easy to consume API out of it and make it part of your API management system. And from that point of time, your clients, your enterprise services, or even cloud applications or mobile apps are no longer talking to the cloud application directly. They are just consuming that API on your API management system. And they may not even realize that this API is pointing to Salesforce or is pointing to Google. They are calling a business service. They would like to do something uh, like a business. And the API management system is then handling, let's say, that, that request and the management system takes care to request uh, to route that request to the right cloud service. When that API is, let's say, part of your API management system, you have some benefits out of it. And one is that you can now add documentation to that API, which really describes to your clients, to your developers, to your consumers what this API is doing. You get your own API management lifecycle, which is decoupled from the cloud, cloud API, if you want. You have, of course, the API governance, so that means you can control which application, which cloud app, which mobile app is allowed to use that API and how often that cloud application or that consumers can use it. And of course, you you will then maybe have, or you may have then a lot of cloud services and you have integrated in all of these and then you have a lot of APIs and then your API catalog can be just used for self-service purposes. So that means developers, business departments can explore APIs and um, uh, these services on their own and they can ask for a subscription but you still have the control how often every client application is using that API. For the example today, as I said at the beginning, I would like to show you how that works with the Microsoft Dynamics CRM system. And now a valid business service would be, for instance, that you have a client on the backend side, which is handling an order entry for a client. And it fully makes sense to, to link that order to the client in the CRM system running in the cloud as well. So that means this guy here on the right side is saying, yeah, place an order or link an order to the client and then the um, API management system is handling that request and route it in the right way to the Microsoft Dynamics CRM system. And this is what we would like to show you today.